All right then, gang. So first of all, I want to give you a huge thank you for joining me on this strange but magical journey through React and Redux. I sincerely hope you have learned at least something along the way because we have covered quite a lot. We've learned all the basics of React, components, the virtual DOM, state, props, lifecycle methods. We've also seen how to use Create React App to create fully fledged React applications. Then we've moved on to routing, route parameters, higher order components, etc. And to put the cherry on top, we've talked about Redux, stores, actions, and reducers. However, we've still not really put all of this together in a fully fledged application. Yeah, we've created this one right here, but it's not that good to be honest. And I wanna show you how to create something better. We've not learned how to use asynchronous code inside Redux or how to connect Redux with an external database. We've not learned how to authenticate the application or how to deploy either to a server. So I wanna show you all of this in the very next series, which I'm gonna do right away after I finish recording this video right here. And in that series, we'll create an application which looks a bit like this. It's called Mario Plan and it's a simple project management tool. So. I could add a new project if I wanted to. House party, blah, blah, blah. Sounds like a fun house party. Create that and we can see that project there. We can go in and see the details of a project. We also have authentication so we can log out and then we can no longer see those projects until we're logged in again. And this we're gonna to deploy to Firebase as well. Speaking of Firebase, we're also going to be using it to store our data in. We'll be using the Cloud Firestore. We're also going to touch on cloud functions to create real-time notifications. And we're also going to be using it for authentication as well. So there's a lot to cover in that next series. And the link to that is going to be in the description down below. So go ahead and click that now and put your React knowledge to good use. So my friends... If you have enjoyed this, please, please, please do not forget to share, subscribe and like and maybe even leave a nice comment and I'm going to see you in that very next series.